What you see here are two almost identical circuits. We have an Arduino Nano and another Arduino Nano. And they're not being powered through USB, they're actually being powered through their VIN inputs. And that's where the difference is, right? They're being powered by a power supply, and one is being powered by 12 volts, the other is being powered by 6 volts. And so before I talk more about this, I just want to give you a different way to look at that circuit, and that's through this thermal camera. All right, with this thermal camera, we can actually see this one on the left has much more heat around it than this one on the right. So why is that? Well, the voltage on the VN is regulated by something called a low dropout regulator, or that's this component right here. And those low dropout regulators are really handy circuits, um, but they do come at a bit of a cost. So our circuit for a low dropout regulator is pretty straightforward. We've got this three pin device and commonly we'll have some sort of heat sink associated with it. Um, and we have our voltage in and our voltage out. And of course a ground pin. Typically you'll see um, or it's really recommended that you have capacitors added on both the input and the output for stability reasons. But the thing I really want to point out is why we had that big difference in, in thermal energy. The way the low dropout regulator works is it takes the difference that we need in our voltage, right? So I'm feeding in some bigger voltage and cutting it down to a smaller vo voltage. It takes that difference and just brunts it off as heat. And so to define our power loss, it's just the difference between our input voltage, VH, minus our output voltage, VL, times the current, or in this case, IN, and that is our power loss. So the greater the difference between your input voltage and your output voltage, the more power that's going to have to be wasted as thermal energy. Another thing that I want to note about this is that your input voltage, typically, there are some different variations um, from part to part, but typically need to be at least a volt larger than the level that you want for your output. And a part that's very dear to my heart is the LM7805. This is a five volt regulator and you'll see them in all sorts of parts and they're really great for breadboards. So the low dropout regulator, though they are very nice and easy to implement, remember that they do come with a cost. And so if you're hooking something like an automotive system um, that's pulling 12 volts down to even 3.3 volts, that can lead up to substantial power losses.